Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the afternoon action. The 118th playing of the United States Amateur Championship. Victor Hovland, Devin Bling, ready to begin their afternoon campaign. Remember, they've already played 18 holes this morning. Victor Hovland, four up. And Devin Bling, and there is the prize lying there next to the tee marker. The Havemeyer Trophy. That's what they're playing for. A very prestigious trophy with an illustrious list of names on that trophy. Tiger Woods, Jack Nicholas. Ewan Porter here alongside Ned Michaels. Ned, Devin Bling's going to have to secure a Tiger Woods like comeback. 1996. Played Steve Scott. Five down after 18 holes at Pumpkin Ridge there in Portland, Oregon. Went on to win in the 38th hole. Devin Bling currently four down. He does have the crowd on his side. He is the local boy. How do you see this afternoon playing out? Well, you'd like to think he's going to make a charge. I talked with he and his caddy, Coach Larkin, up on the range between rounds, and they said he was very nervous this morning, and it showed in his play. Finding the bunker five times in the first nine holes. Only one fairway on the front nine. But say so they have a plan. They've put a plan together. And remember when the Patriots came from behind on the Falcons in the Super Bowl, it was Belichick putting a plan together. So they now have formulated what they're going to do. They know the holes they need to attack, the shots where they can be aggressive. Mike Trostel, the historian for the United States Golf Association, was telling me only one time in the past 12 years has the player who trailed between 18s come back to win. It was Stephen Fox at Cherry Hills. I was up on the range and asked the players what they had for lunch. How about this? Victor Hovland had steak, potatoes, sushi, and ice cream to be young again. It was for bling, a little bit of steak, some chicken, and a couple of cookies. But reset now, it's time to start over. And if you're Hovland, what are you thinking that the match is all square, right? You can't allow yourself to get too far ahead. And apart from the obvious four up lead for Victor Hovland, you got to like the, the state of mind that he's in. He, you, you even pointed out to me at lunchtime, he looks like he's having fun. He looks like he's enjoying the moment. Devin Bling looks more comfortable, this 18. Yesterday, Devin Bling played Isaiah Salinda. Salinda shot four under par and lost that match. This morning, Victor Hovland shot one over par, and he's four up. That's the beauty of match play. doesn't matter what you shoot. You've only got to beat your opponent. The only holes that Devin won were with pars. You mentioned he only had the one birdie. It came with the sixth, the easiest hole on the golf course. His bogeys were out early at one and two, and then got on the train, bogeyed eight, nine, 10, and 14. To your point of enjoying himself, hit it in the rocks on 18 at the end of the first round, did Hovland, and he jokingly said to the official there, I think I could just blade a little 60 degree wedge from here. Well, after watching him get up and down from right of four with that wedge, maybe we believe him. But he's joking, he's laughing, he's looked like a golden retriever just waiting for somebody to throw the ball. He's so excited to be out here. The Golden Guardian, the Havemeyer Trophy. In case you had forgotten what you were playing for. Mentioned it this morning, Ned. Victor Hovland looking to become the seventh European to win this championship. Binlay Douglas, Harold Hilton, H.J. Wigan. All before 1911. And then since the turn of the century, Eduardo Molinari, Richie Ramsey, more recently, Matthew Fitzpatrick back in 2013 at the Country Club of Brookline. The six Europeans to win this championship. It's the ultimate test of amateur golf net. 
it's a Ladies mental and test and it's a physical test. Welcome. This is the continuation of the 36 hole championship match of the 118th U.S. Amateur Golf Championship conducted by the United States Golf Association at Pebble Beach Golf Links. Please welcome the players from Ridgecrest, California, Devin Bling. <laughs> Victor Hovland. <laughs> the referee for this match is Mark Reinemann. At the conclusion of the first 18 holes, Victor Hovland is four up. Devin Bling has the honor. Play away, please. Sears it down the left side. And that's the one he was looking for this morning. Free or swing. Talked about getting those shoulders to turn a little bit better this afternoon. Is headed just a little bit left, but should be okay. Plenty of space down that side. Lands softly, so both players paced it in the fairway here on the first. You and if you're Devin Bling, time to be aggressive. Take the bull by the horns, and I think you'll find him being a little more aggressive this afternoon, Ned. He certainly has nothing to lose. He's four down. He's in a position where he can attack a little bit more, and we know he can make birdies. We know he can go low. But you know what? So can Victor Hovland. Victor Hovland's probably played his worst round of the week so far, and he's four up. So I think we're in for some good golf this afternoon. They definitely were filling each, out, filling each other out a little bit this morning. He mentioned it's a marathon, not a sprint, as opposed to the majority of 18-hole match play matches. Conditions a little bit warmer, no real breeze to speak of. So I expect the players to be attacking a little bit more. Victor Hovland is one cool customer. So is Devin Bling. Wouldn't want to get into a gunfight with either one of these guys. So the plan for Devin Bling, we mentioned it talking about with his caddy this week, his assistant coach, Coach Larkin. They know what holes and what shots they're going to play. An aggressive nature, some they'll have to play a little bit smarter, but for the most part, he will be firing on all cylinders. Nothing to lose at this point, pull out all the stops. location cut just a little past center in a bowl of collection area 156 yards for Hoffman ball hanging below his feet but the breeze coming off the ocean of any to speak they should cancel each other out and play a relatively straight shot just a little bit of breeze behind them 
We've spoken a lot about Coach Alan Bratton caddying for Victor Hovland. Coach Alan Bratton actually caddied for Peter Uline when he won the 2010 US Amateur at Chambers Bay. So his caddy's looking for his second US Amateur victory. Hovland bringing it in high. This one he's lost to the right. This is going to find the bunker. And the first real loose approach that we've seen from Hovland for quite a while. If you're Devin Bling, you have to take advantage of that mistake. You stick this one close. Yeah. Let your intentions be known earlier. I'm not waiting for you to make mistakes. Victor, I'm going to take this thing right here. Nine iron. And just a little bit left, it needs to get lucky. And it too, once again, finds the sand. Well, it's a virgin green, Ned. They've got both sides covered. One left, one right. Who do you like in this situation? For me, I like Hovland. He's coming uphill, and he will have seen Devin Blink's shot there this morning, so he knows how, how it's played. I'd agree with you, uh, with the exception of Bling has been in many bunkers today. He's been in the sand. He knows the texture. Couldn't quite tell if he got into the sand or if he carried. This is one, actually, that you would want to be in the sand. The rough is gnarly and twisted, long and left of the screen. The whole thing slopes back towards the ocean from left to right. It was a bogey on the first earlier today. For Bling, he lost the hole. Hold up on the right, please. I liked what he was doing on the range, though, Ewan. He was using the left side of the range. He's normally a guy who fades the golf ball. But he was over there on the left side of the range, trying to work on drawing, trying to cancel out what he was doing earlier today, where he wasn't turning his shoulders and flaring shots off to the right. Yeah, you, Victor. Land first to play. Nice lie off the upslope. Nipped it clean, should have a little spin. The gallery approves. And the Norwegian seems to be in control of his faculties early. Now you and this little touchy number for Devin Bling. The reason I liked where Victor was in his situation, that he was coming straight up the hill. The exact opposite here for Devin. He's got the shoulder of the bunker to contend with. Quick downhill, left to right. You can see he had to take a big swing at that. Now, he has landed that just perfectly. He could not have played that any better, Ned Michaels, from where he was. That was a delicate shot. And he managed to manufacture it exquisitely. Bling's going to have the first attempt for par. He's got six feet. Putting back up the hill a little bit, moving just a little to his left, and he will have got a good look at it when it went past Ned. Watch 
placed him on the putting green right before he came down. He hit three putts. The first one was from 20 feet, made it. Second one, 30 feet, just trickled over the edge. And the third one was a long one, over 45 feet. And it too just burned the lip. So if there's any hope, it lies in this weapon. Four down, this for par. And another bogey on the first. Hard to say it was a must make, but it sure felt like it. Victor missed a couple of these earlier today, but not quite this short. Not much to this. Up and down four from the sand. Playing five. And now Hoblin four. Hoblin five up. He's five up. And you and that was everything that Devin Bling did not need to happen. Missed the green, did not get up and down, missed a short putt. The confidence already shaken now. Now what is the question on hand? Not only is the occasion so momentous and so huge for both of these players, but especially Devin Bling being a local boy, being from California, he's got the crowd behind him. However, you can use it as motivation either way, Ned. I think you can look at it in a very encouraging, positive, motivating aspect. Or you can or you can perhaps try a little too hard. And and perhaps Devin Bling is in that situation right now. Perhaps he's pushing it a little bit. The gallery has grown. He knows that 95% of this gallery, if not 100% of the gallery, are all behind him. And he, perhaps he just wants it too badly. And we know from experience that when you want something too badly, it has the opposite effect. Has found the fairway bunker down the left side the last three times he has played this hole. Let's see if he can find the short grass. It's hanging but heading towards the sand. And now safely aboard the short grass indeed in the fairway. Let's watch his backswing here for Devin Bling. This is what he was working on up on the driving range between rounds. He's trying to overdraw some balls to cancel out the block right cuts that he had this morning. Straight down Ocean Avenue. And a firm bounce. He two in grass. So it's mano y mano. One hole into the second round of the United States Amateur Championship, the 118th playing of this wonderful event. We started with 8,000 participants, Ewan, in the qualifying, narrowed it down to 312 and finally to two at one point for the final spot the 64th spot in match play we had a 24 player playoff for one position played over 17 and 18 here at Pebble Beach Bergeron made birdie on 17 and would you bogey on 18 was good enough to get the final spot
Well, just in reference to my comments a few moments ago, Ned, about the galleries here, I did say this morning that Victor Hovland, he'd be more used to playing in front of these galleries. Twice in the last three years, runner-up in the European Amateur Championship, once in Estonia, this year in the Netherlands, and the crowds for both of those championships were huge. So, in that sense, having been in contention in that situation, he's familiar with what comes with the territory. Yes, the US Amateur Championship is the biggest amateur championship, the biggest championship, the ultimate test of amateur golf, and the rewards that come with it are huge. But he's been in a similar scenario before, so he knows his idiosyncrasies, he knows what can happen under the pressure. Whereas Devin Bling, this is uncharted territory. He's learning on the fly. And speaking of on the fly, 326 yards to get past this right bunker. He flew it past it. Well, it was in the playoff in the quarterfinals where he milked a little nine iron here at the second, playing over 500 yards to a couple of feet, won the match. And you and I agree with you in what you're saying, but remember Devin Bling, he's just 18 years old, has already won a tournament at UCLA, and he talked about in that Jackrabbit Invitational, he wasn't playing well. Didn't feel like he was hitting the ball well or swinging it well, but he hit one shot. Par three, long iron, and it clicked. He said, that's it, that's the swing I need. And from there, he just kept making birdies. So he needs something to click, and it needs it to happen in a hurry. I do agree with you to an extent. However, Boulder City, Nevada is a little different venue to Pebble Beach. And I'm sure the crowds weren't quite on the same scope as we have now. I can tell you Victor Hovland has 196 yards to the hole. Breeze, a little behind him from the left. He's yet to hit this green in regulation. Ned, all throughout match play, has not put it on this green in two shots. This morning, we saw him in the front right bunker yesterday in the front left bunker. He's looking for this one to start the left side of the green, drift back towards the middle, forget about that hole on the right. Seven iron, and they were practicing this exact shot on the driving range. And he has started it exactly where I thought he would. It is not moving, it is perfect, middle of the green. Beautiful shot, a veteran shot, Ned Michaels. Now Devin Bling looking to become the first UCLA Bruin to win this championship. There have been three UCLA golfers win USGA championships. Corey Pavin so famously at Shinnecock at US Open. Slightly above his feet, tendency to go left. Big swing, Ewan. Was really going after that eight iron. Lands on the green. We'll find the saddle of the putting surface and just start wandering towards the cup. A wonderful shot. So both players on the green within five feet of each other here at the second. Remember, you and it was the beginning of the day before they teed off in the first match. Devin Bling couldn't find his yardage book. He was asking <laughs> his, his friends and family, has anybody seen my yardage book? Did I leave it in the car? Turns out he had just misplaced it in his bag. He was nervous. Yesterday he had media obligations after advancing to the finals, and he put it in the wrong pocket. I said to Coach Larkin, well, that's caddy error. He said, absolutely. I don't take any credit, but I get all the blame. That's a good caddy. Have you ever done that? Have you ever shown up to a round of golf and realized that you had forgotten something that you needed? My game, my mental game, 
my marbles. I, I'd always lost those. But in all seriousness, Ned, yes, when you're nervous and under pressure, it's very easy, very easy to forget uh, your normal routine, your normal habits. Well, Ned, a couple of fantas fantastic shots, about as good as you can do here at the second, where the whole location is on the right-hand side there, tucked behind the bunker, everything going from front to back. If you took it, your second shot straight at the flag, it would land short and kick over the back. So they've played the correct shots into the middle of the green. Devon did take his approach a little bit further left, was able to utilise the contours and move it down there to about 12, 15 feet. So both with good opportunities for birdie, and typically this would be for an eagle during the... PGA Tour event here that's held in every February. This is a par five for the championship. So, and uh, when you watch these players play, hitting sevens and eight irons in, it's not uh, not really a, a par five, is it? I've always thought in match play the number was kind of irrelevant, whether it was a three or a four or a five. It, it, just trying to make the lowest score you can, trying to make one lower than your opponent. For Devin Bling, somehow you've got to figure out a way to deflect the pressure of every shot as a must make. Every putt is a must hold. You have to be able to compartmentalize and just play your game. But Victor Hovland will not make it easy. Only a handful of bogeys on the week. You're going to have to earn it if you're going to beat him. You are not much in this putt. It's actually a pretty easy one to read. Goes back uphill a little bit at the end is the only thing. Tendency here to come up short. Has the pace, but not the line. Victor Hovland, 12 feet to go six up through 20 holes. Bear in mind, he has won two matches, seven and six. So this man is not afraid to take it deep and to stick it to the opponent. to go second on the same line now, Victor, who have seen the break, engaged the temperature. This would be a dagger if converted. So a little bit more than it looked. That conceded and halved with pars. Here at the second. Four nice swings by these two players. You and you touched on earlier, when you press too hard, you try to be perfect and you want it too much. It never seems to really work for you. You can't will yourself in this game to hit the ball better. I do believe you can will yourself to make putts and get up and down. But it seems like the more you try to hit it flush, the tighter you get, the more offline the ball goes. To the third, earlier today, two different strategies for Victor. Driver up and over the trees, splattering one, only 85 yards left to the green on a hole that plays well over 450.
this a little bit right of where he was earlier, but seemingly on a good line. If it lands soft, it should be in the fairway. And you and I said 450. The, four, the hole itself is 404, but always plays back into that cool ocean breeze. Tends to play long. Now three wood for Devin Blaine, sticking to the game plan. And that is flushed into the left center of the fairway. So both players in a good position to attack the green and perhaps find the first birdie of this second round. Well, a reminder that you can see the rest of the action. Can the young UCLA Bruin, Devin Bling, make a comeback or will it be? The ice water in his veins, Norwegian, Victor Hovland, hoisting the Havemeyer Trophy. You can watch it all on Fox Sports. That's it for us, Ewan. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. It's been an absolute blast. These two players are superstars of the future, and I know I've had an absolute blast working alongside yourself and our legendary cameraman, Rob Rabina. To all of our entire crew who has worked so tirelessly early mornings, late nights, putting the products together. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage. For you and Porter, this is Ned Michaels saying so long from the United States Amateur Championship at Pebble Beach.